but we'll split into two groups where we got two kits of stuff and we'll go out and uh, do these collections that we need to. Just got a call. We knew where one particularly nice bull was and uh, apparently one of our hunters has taken that animal, so we're gonna go out and work that thing up here. We work in the Begley limited entry area, which there are two limited entry areas for uh, uh, for the Kentucky elk season, and then there are there there are also tags that are drawn for at large, and those hunters uh, hunt the the rest of the elk zone. Um, the Begley Limited Entry Area takes in uh, uh, most of the Begley Wildlife Management Area, a small portion of the Ataya Wildlife Management Area, some of the new Graham Wildlife Management Area. So there's a lot of uh, a, a lot of this is public hunting. This guy's got an elk, and he needs some. <laughs> We're trying to figure out the best way to help him get to it, to keep him from having to quarter it up and carry it to this point, because it's a long way and it's getting warm, so we need to try to get this animal out. And we're I'm gonna try to help him out here. This is a rough ride, ain't it? Yeah. Numbers of elk are really strong in this, this unit. I mean, we, we see lots of, lots of elk. Uh, there are a lot of nice bulls. Um, No, they made. They probably saved us eight hours, didn't they? The packing and getting it all out. Yeah, they do a good job. I appreciate them a lot. Get that one out. Do you need us to bring this uh, truck with the winch on the front? We have a six by six Kentucky born elk, uh, and we're at large on the Asherland Mineral property. He was taken uh, about 50 yards into the woods. We're collecting a, a, a whole variety of uh, biological information. We're still doing a lot of monitoring for brain worm. Um, we're also, chronic wasting disease is, is a huge issue nationwide. Um, as most people know, we've uh, uh, tested approximately 12,000 whitetail deer and we're testing just as many elk as we possibly can. Um, we haven't had any positives. We're just con ongoing monitoring because you know we want to know if we, if we have a problem. The, the, the DNA work, which is probably one of the most interesting items that we're doing, allow, will allow our law enforcement folks to build a DNA database um, so that they are able to, to figure out where, what part of the country an elk came from. You know, some of the other states have those databases built. So you'll be, our, our, our Kentucky elk will have a, a specific DNA fingerprint. So for law enforcement purposes, if somebody has an animal that their alleging is from some other place, we're gonna have enough DNA work hopefully to be able to say it matches up, it's definitely a Kentucky animal. Got two down. At a tie Yeah. Okay. The weather has the, the animals moving only really early in the morning and really late in the evening like this. You can, basically when you feel the temperature change, uh, and, and know that it's a little more comfortable. That's the same thing these elk are going through. And, and we got that cool temperature and these guys were set up uh, um, near a water source near a pond and, and got an elk coming back in late this evening. Everybody should be able to find a nice pool this week.